Hey guys, this is Luthias and I hope you had a great week and today we are going to be covering PVE 101 player version environment and I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know to survive the PVE aspect of the game now one of my subscribers asked me for this video and um, yes he really wanted me to not edit the video at all but unfortunately it will take too long for me if I you know, didn't edit the video at all and of course I will be making role playing videos later on where I'll be playing certain roles on the map so there will be some unedited videos coming through but to start the video off the last thing that you want to do in Mistrated is take on more than one mutant without a weapon okay um, with with the weapon you can take on up to three two to three but without a weapon it's not advisable now maybe I would have stood a chance here but as you can clearly see the animations um, put you back a bit and then of course the amount of bleeding markers that they can put on you is really really dangerous so yeah it's always a good thing keeping an eye on your health now when you when you sustain bleeding markers or or health you know or damage to you then going into a quiet place using bandages and sitting down is very important to heal because sitting down like i'm doing here with a comma key basically boost your um, health generation okay so you'll heal much faster when sitting down another thing that will get rid of bleeding markers and bo boost your health regeneration is um, rags rags will boost your health regeneration with 20 percent and then you get bandages which will boost the regeneration up to 30 percent and then of course you can use rubbing alcohol with bandages to use antiseptic to create antiseptic bandages and of course you can create um, antibiotic bandages which give you a maximum of 60 percent health regeneration but you'll of course need the medical guide but i just want to show you guys on a new account and on a pve server you know um that it shows you what what guides you need need which is quite nice now if you don't want to get into contact with mutants there's a lot of options for you okay one of the options is to pick up rocks and then throw the rocks close to them to get them to walk towards the rocks and get you know just basically change their route from where they were away from the point that you want to loot And yes, um, it will take some training to figure out just how far, you know, they can detect the rocks. But as you can see, it has to be quite close, but you can guide them away and loot, you know, at your own leisurely pace. Now, the, the, the most important thing about AI in Mistrated is that they work with sight, as I'm clearly showing you here. Any mutant works with only detects you if he sees you and if he hears you but hearing you you have to make quite a bit of noise okay as clearly seen here and as you can see when just taking on one mutant then your first you know, there's he poses no threat to you but you have to make sure your timing is right and you have to use this forward and backwards hitting motion because if he ducks below a lot of your shots you can be in a lot of trouble but again the majority of the ai is created only detects you by sight which i'm going to demonstrate here as well i'm going to run quite loudly on the road and the mutant is not going to do anything and later on i will show you with various ai that, that, that this is the case now if he detects you then he's got a bit of memory okay so um he'll want to hunt you again okay so once they detect you um you've lost a bit of the advantage but you can lose them again just by go getting out of sight 
and give them, giving them time to lose aggro on you by basically running into a house, closing the door, you know, going into a room and just staying quiet or jumping over a wall and getting out of sight. And of course, as you can see with any melee weapon, they don't really pose a threat. The second problem that you will have PvE wise in miscreated is basically your water okay your resources now the most important one here is of course water and what you can do with water is just drink directly from any water source as much as you can until you hit 100 percent please don't drink water after you've hit 100 percent because you will puke and lose most of your resources but yes after you've drank enough take a blue mushroom or anti-radiation anti tablet and lose all the radiation that you've built up that's why blue mushrooms are extremely important but your other choice of course is to empty out any water bottle or canister or jerry can that you have and then fill it up with water from the river and then use a water purification tablet to purify that water that is also a great idea as you've seen in a previous video Keeping a jerry can filled up at your base, which you've purified, is a great water source. But, you know, if you're looking for a more realistic um, solution, then a water bottle or a canteen will be more than enough. So, yes, that covers the thirst. By using blue mushrooms, you can drink from any water source and um, get rid of the radiation. And then, of course, when it comes to the standard mutants, when you've got a weapon, then it's very easy to get rid of them. So the, I'm just basically using a shotgun here, but you can imagine if you've got a sniper rifle or an AR or a pistol with a lot of bullets, one headshot and they're dead. So basically, they pose no threat as soon as you've ge you've geared up and you're basically your shooting mechanics aren't that bad the second threat that you'll get a lot when run running around between towns or through the forest are wolves now wolves have been a big one of the biggest dangers pve wise and what i found in the latest update is that the main wolf should be your target most of the time the alpha wolf which is the lighter one okay Normally, as soon as I kill him, they tend to back away or lose aggro for a while. Basically, enough time for me to, to run away. But the biggest secret here is to not turn your back on them. And what, like you will see here, they have lost aggro. They're not really attacking me. And I've got time to run away now. And sometimes they'll even return back to the alpha, which will give me even more time to get away. And as you will see soon enough they'll pick up aggro again and start attacking okay but basically killing one of them will normally give you time to get away because they will lose aggro i basically just hurt one of them there but as you can see they turn it they're running back to the alpha and that is that gives me more than enough time to get away guys so when it comes to wolves you have to have a weapon not having a weapon is extremely dangerous um and of course you don't really want to turn your back towards them because their mechanics makes them attack you as soon as you turn your back but when you're looking at them then they're going to attack you much less and try and you know find angles on you which will give you the opportunity to kill them so just you know basic basic um, mechanics there then when it comes to your hunger there are various food sources um, on the map for instance apple trees which gives you far about six percent food and four percent fluid which is absolutely fantastic to keep yourself fed and like i'm showing you there guys as soon as you eat something and you've got a percentage of dizziness do not eat again or do not push that dizziness higher than 10 percent because you are gonna get sick and then lose half of your water and half half of your food And then you've got berry bushes as well, which um, can solve, you know, 
can solve your hunger issues as well. Uh, they are scattered across the map and gives you quite a bit of um, berry bushes. So that's not a problem at all. And yes, as you can see, you can get quite fed with them. And um, then the majority of the time you're, gonna, you're going to want to look for deer. The good thing about deer and the new update is you can catch them very easily and beat them to death with your fists or any basic weapon. But yes, if you want to have fun and make it a bit more realistic, use a bow. And yes, again, it's not looking at me, so it won't pick me up immediately. And I've got time to get in a good good shot there. And then with a the new update to help us with the crafting, the animals will of course give us more fat. Um, so some of them will give us from 2 to 5 fat. Uh, but as you can see, before the hot fix, every animal just gave you one fat, but it still gives us a lot of meat, which is great. Um, and I will show you now what is the difference between salting your meat and then um, cooking it on a campfire. Of course, to salt your meat or purify your meat, all you have to do is go into your crafting menu, go to consumables, food, yeah, and then um, craft the salted deer meat or bear meat or wolf meat or whatever. Now, one thing that's going to be very important for you when doing a campfire is creating a pickaxe, which is very easy. And with a new update, you will get pyrite um, from the or pyrite from the rocks and of course rocks. And then a campfire will take you 10 rocks at the moment instead of four like previously. But what I love about the update, it is make it is help, it is allowing you to stack everything, which is fantastic in my opinion, because salt took up a lot of space um, and rocks, you know, um, couldn't stack. So they just, with all the updates, just more and more items are able to be stacked which of course helps you a lot with your carry weight and of course helps you to carry a lot more items and then yes we're just going to chop a few wood logs from a tree and what i like to do is i know with the hot fix they changed that as well but the sticks and wood logs do burn shorter than um, lumber but I just add, um, you know, I just add to the fire as much as I can until it doesn't give me an option to add anymore. And I usually use um, wood logs or lumber, but lumber will last longest. So yes, we're just going to cook this meat. And yes, when it's done, we're going to take the meat off. And as you will clearly see now, it gives us about 40% food, where salted, with, where salted deer meat gives us 30%. But we've still got a heck of a lot of food just by killing two animals, okay? We've got 40% uh, times 4 is 160%, plus 60% is 220% food that we've got right there, which we can use whenever we want. The cured meat, of course, won't go bad, um the cooked meat will go bad after quite a long time um but yes that's all you need to know when it comes to your hunger killing deers killing dogs killing bears you know or using apples of course there's a two-headed dog in the game as well but as i've said when you have weapons then the dog is basically like a wolf and yes taking on ai um or trying to get creative with a bunch of ai is not a good idea that's why it's normally better to you know single out the targets or not go into big groups because the animations are very iffy and you know 
sometimes it looks like they're teleporting and they hit markers or are at long distances so all you have to do guys not get creative you know and you'll stay alive when it comes to the other threats on the pve side of the game you've basically got radiation which you can get rid of with blue mushrooms and anti-rad tablets and you can build up resistances from the radiation with hazmat gear like hazmat mask and tank and then of course um, potassium tablets which gives you resistances to the radiation um, so yes except for radiation you've got cold as well that's going to be your second problem and all you have to do to counter not freezing to death is use a heat pack and which you can pick up around houses and garages and everything so yes um, poison is going to be the other danger which I'm going to give you a physical example of but yes um, it doesn't matter if, if you hit a, a radiation storm or a nuclear winter storm or acid rain or a blizzard or snow all you're going to need is blue mushrooms or anti-rad um, tablets, potassium tablets and of course heat packs now this is the big daddy we've got three shots in there so far four shots five shots so that's five buckshot and i must say buckshot seems to be the most effective against them from a close range as you can see there's six buckshot and he's down now the most important thing about a brute is to make sure you've got am enough am ammunition so i wouldn't really try and take him on with the sniper rifle unless you're very good with good headshots but the two ways of killing him is basically with the ar just getting 12 you know, between 10 and 15 bullets into him quickly or like i just did they get a barrier between you and him you know and just pump him full of buckshot or um slugs it does really matter at at such a close range it is very powerful but you don't really want to take him on without anything between you and him because then he's probably going to get a hit off on you with the hit markers not being right and the animation struggling and then with the spider mutant this is where you can get poisoned you can get poisoned with food as well but this is the biggest danger when it comes to poison as you can see hit me once and then all the other hits is balls in, um, t taking up my consciousness now as you can see if you can't hit his head he's a really tough bugger and if he hits you enough with the poison you're going to pass out now unfortunately it takes you quite a long time to wake up uh, in situations like these it is possible but if the spider's got a clear clear sight on you like here with flat ground you're going to die okay and you're not going to be able to get away from it to cure poison all you need is a, a red healing mushroom or an antibiotic tablet and then yeah the the big um, spider mutant always also lets babies out of it when it fights you for a duration of time so just be careful when it comes to those little babies don't attack them stay away from them until they explode the other great thing about the update is the bed now when you've got an area that you really love exploring and you're scared that you're gonna die because you don't really know the game um, then just put a plot sign down and then put a bed down and as soon as you die you can go back to the bed and yeah i'm just giving you another example there's three mutants at a checkpoint but because i've i'm geared up and i've built up gear which as you guys know with my roots it's quite fast and easy to do that then the pve doesn't pose any threat anymore because i don't have to worry about their glitches or you know um, any kind of problems the ai has which can cause your death in various situations and as you will see here with an ar not many um not men not anything is really going to pose a threat
just getting it on single shot. <coughs> Sorry, he's still going to poison me, probably. But I've got I've got solid, you know, I've got a solid caliber weapon, and I've got um, healing mushrooms. So, and then again, if you can get the <coughs> sorry if you can get the headshot right you can kill him with a single headshot so just remember guys um the the spider mutant's only weakness is the head so try and get a headshot from a distance and if you don't try and get the headshot in while he's standing still and yes um two headshots to any of the standard mutants it's fine. And of course, the last part is the big boy, the bear. Again, the bear works with sight. But what you're going to be wary, going to have to be wary of is you find this animal normally in the forest. Now, when you've got nothing like, uh, you know, a road barrier or a wall or something to put between you and this big boy, you're going to have a problem without a, without a gun, okay? Because a melee weapon won't really help you here. And as you can see, he works with sight as well. But as soon as he detects you, you're going to be in big trouble, okay? So... Again, as you can, you can hear the wolves and you can hear the bear, okay? So if you take your time and try and play this game as realistically as you can, you will hear the wolves before you run into them and you will hear the bear before you run into the bear, okay? You just need to be careful of them. So yes, even if I had a knife on me or a hatchet, he would probably still kill me. Um before I can kill him. I have killed a bear with a knife and a hatchet, you know, but that's just luck at the end of the day, him him missing a few bites. But like I say, when you're geared up, then there's, there's no, then even a bad boy like this doesn't really pose any threat. I've only got 10 bullets in this bulldog. Um, so yes, I picked this gun up within 10 minutes of the game. I wasted three shots there with um, burst. But again, just with accurate headshots, he's dead, guys. So I wasted about three bullets there. It takes about five or six bullets to kill it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've got a better... Um, understanding of the survival aspect and remember you can climb any hill by looking into the hill okay so just slide down and walk forward and you'll be able to you won't die from any cliff or mountain unless it's straight down okay another great tip there for you guys if you like this video click the like button if you're new here click the subscribe button and um, yes Hope you guys have a great day and have fun.